have yet another manifestation of our Lord's divinity in the miracle of the cleansing of the man with leprosy. And we might ponder here how we can apply that to ourselves. None of us is afflicted with leprosy. However, we are afflicted with a particular sickness, spiritual sickness called sin. When we're another, we all tend to fall. We're all weak. And we have need of a remedy. So we need God's mercy. We need to call upon our Lord. Just as a leper did. And tell him, Lord, if you wish, you can, be, you can, you can heal me. You can make me clean. Here, the leper demonstrated his faith. He didn't hesitate to call out, if you will, you can make me clean. He placed his faith in our Lord that he could do it. Our Lord has also given us a means for that cleansing, it's called the sacrament of penance. That's the principal means. The Eucharist as well can cleanse us of our venial sins if we receive worthily. So we have the ways and means, but we have to reach out for them. We have to demonstrate our faith as well and cry out, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. And then note our Lord's response. The man demonstrated his faith, the Lord rewarded it. I do will it. And he will tell us the same. We go to the sacraments. I do will it. Be made clean. In the sacrament of penance, that's the pronouncement of the absolution. I do will it. Be made clean. And then we see another point here that we all have need of. One again yet. Another means we have. No. It tells, after of course the report is spread out all over, and people are coming to our Lord constantly. And if we had someone who could cure us of our diseases, now we're talking of physical diseases, we probably would run too. If nothing else, if we don't have them, at least out of curiosity to see. But what does our Lord do? He goes away and withdraws to deserted places to pray. We have need to pray. We must withdraw once in a while, periodically. Saints will tell us even as much as 15 minutes every day. Withdraw and pray. Because how can we grow in our relationship with God if we do not stop to pray? And we need not just a simple relationship with God, but it should be a deep relationship with God. I recall some years ago, a sister was brought in to speak to our secular Franciscan fraternity. And she started out by, the sister was also Franciscan, and she started out by saying, she started speaking of prayer and how we need our prayer life. She said, in following the example of the saints, and she said, they had our prayer life. And she said, not just a prayer life, but a deep prayer life. You read the lives of the saints, you're going to find they did withdraw. They actually physically withdrew many times. Some even consistently. They did withdraw and pray much, very much, intensely. That's the deep prayer life we need because in the end, just think, in paradise, our whole focus will be on God, nothing else. We will simply be deeply immersed, consumed in God. And we will go on growing and learning, but growing in that love for Him for all eternity. It's a deep relationship. Listen to it while we can think and seek to go minimally into heaven, as long as I'm not committing any mortal sins. I'll be fine, and I can do whatever else I, whatever else I want. But you're only going to find yourself in the lowest place in heaven if you beg it. Why should we stop at just the minimal? 
Why not go on and be as great as we can be? Go all the way, as high as we can be. And entertain a deep union with God, an intense union with Him. It's an intense union, as we've been seeing all along, particularly from our readings from St. John, from the letter, first letter of St. John, a deep union of love, because God is love. And that's really what God is waiting for us to do. That's what he expects of us. So we must, yes, withdraw and pray, even every day. Praise be Jesus and Mary.